Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Hemlata and in this video, I'll be showing you how to fit a best regression model to a non-linear data using R. So without getting delayed, let us start. Here, I have written all the codes, but I'll be explaining all one by one. So for this, first I need to import the data set. And my data is stored in Excel file. So what will I do first? I'll click on file and then import data set. Then I'll click on from Excel. You will see a new window to import the data. I'll click on browser now. Then I'll go to the location where my data file is there uh, is stored. Here, this is, this is my data file tree. I'll click on this and then I'll click on open. So after click on open, it will uh, take some time. And then once it is showing here, what will I do? I'll copy this code and then I'll click on import. Okay, I'm not clicking it now because I have already imported the data set. So this is my code which I copied from there. Okay, after this, if I want to see uh, the first six uh, lines of my data set, I'll, I'll type head and the name of the data set tree. So if I run this, you will see these are the first six observations of my data set. This one tree and age. So these are the two columns uh, or variables given in my data set. If I want to see how many observations are there, I'll just type DIM dimension of my data set. So tree dimension of tree. So I'll run this and it will give me 11 2 that means 11 number of rows and two columns so columns we, I can see here but the number of observations are 11 okay now my question is fit a best regression model to estimate the height of the tree based on its age here height is in feet and the age of the tree is in years okay now some of you will do the mistake. They will just see we have only two variables and they think that it is the example. It is a case of simple linear regression model. So they will just uh, fit a simple linear regression. So as we know in the regression model, there are two types of variables, dependent and independent variables. So we generally take Y as a dependent variable and X as an independent variable. So here Y I have taken y as my height because here i want to estimate height so i want to see whether the height it is depending on the age of the tree okay so height is my dependent variable here and i have stored x i have taken x as my age of the tree now as i told you i just saw only two variables one dependent and one independent variable so without thinking anything what will I do I will fit a simple linear regression model using this function LM function LM is for linear models and this is the way to write this so if I fit a model and else I want to see what all uh, thing what, what all my estimates are so I'll type summary summary of my model that is my M1 so this is the output I'll be getting. So it is giving me the information on the residual. What is the minimum value of the residual? What is the maximum value? What is the median and the quartile value? So this is not our problem. Okay. So what will I do? I just want to see my regression coefficients, whether they are significant or not. And what percent of variation is explained by the model. So here you can see R square is 0.84. So from this I can say 84% of the variation in the height of the tree is explained by the age of the tree. Okay, but this is not a good model. Why? Because we did not follow the proper procedure to estimate the regression model. So what should be my first step? My first step uh, should be to see what type of association is there between the, both the variables x and y so to know that what will i do i will plot a scatter diagram so by using this plot function plot x comma y 
I'll see what type of association is there between X and Y. So from this diagram, you can see this is a kind of non-linear relationship and it is, um, you can say it is a logarithmic association between X and Y. It is not a straight line, right? So instead of a straight line, it is a logarithmic relationship. Okay, so based on that, I'll be um, making my model. Okay, so what should I do? I will use the logarithmic transformation okay to make this linear so whatever plot I saw I want to make it linear then only I can fit a linear model okay so for that I need logarithmic transformation so what I did I took log of my x variable so I saved the value log values of x as log x so x variable is my tree age so I took log of age of the tree then again I checked now whether my relationship is now has become linear or not. So I'll see the, I'll, I'll plot the relationship between y and the logarithmic values of x. Now you can see here in the right hand side corner, this plot is, I'll zoom it, this plot is very much similar to the straight line most of the values are close to the linear line right so now it is good to go we can fit a linear regression model to my transformed data so now i fit a model lm where y is my original y and x is my logarithmic transformed y okay by using this i fit a model and i see what are my values estimated values so if I see here, these are my estimated regression coefficients. These are my p-values associated with this. So you can see the three stars are there. It indicates these are highly significant. So from this, I can say the model is significant and the, there is a contribution of age of the tree in the height of the tree, right? Now, you can also see what is my value of r square it has increased a lot it is now it is 0 0.9863 earlier if you you would have if you remember this is 84 percent now it is 98 percent so now i can say this is my best model because almost 99 percent of variation is explained by my model in the um, height of the tree right so this is my model now the thing is how will I interpret this okay so from this state from this uh, uh, output I'll write my estimated model this is my estimated height is equal to the intercept term that is beta naught plus uh, beta 1 this one into the log value this is the log of Age of the tree okay now how to interpret this this is the question so to interpret this what what will I say it, we cannot interpret it like as we were doing uh, in the simple linear regression so the correct way to interpret is 1% increase in the age of the tree increases the height of the tree by this value divided by 100 this is 0. 6182 feet okay because height is in feet so it is approximately six inches okay so that means one if if there is a one percent increase in the uh, age of the tree this will increase the height of the tree approximately six uh, approximately seven inches okay this is how you can interpret and this is the best model than the previous model okay because my r square has increased okay I hope you have got some clarity to fit a best regression model based on the relationship uh, between the variables. If you like my video, please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.